Hi guys. In this lecture, we are going to explain how to add a splash screen and app icon very easily in, Re in a React Native project. So, in this project, I am going to use a cool library, React Native Boot Splash. So, it will help you to create dynamically create app icon and splash screen in our React Native project. So, we are going for the implementation. So, first of all, what you have to do? Here you can see the uh, npm command. We can just add this library into our project. Sorry. Yarn add React Native Boot Splash. If your project is less than uh, 0 0.60, you need to manually link this one as my project is uh, just created. I'm not going for that one. <laughs> so this will install the library in our project. As you can see, my project is running on my device. I can just open VS Code also. I'm going to open my code in VS Code. Yes, VS Code is chatting. Now, meanwhile, we can just check out the documentation. Here you can see the uh, commands whatever we can use from this one we can we can if you just copy this command and paste it here so it will display all the commands whatever available in the uh, project see background color logo width asset path flavor and Android whatever the comments are available you can see here right so I am not going for uh, do it from here just what I am going to do firstly open the project yes the project is opened now as they are mentioning in the documentation Put the uh, create an assets folder. So I am going to create an assets folder here. Mm, where is my project? Here. Create an asset folder. Now I need to place this icon there. So I am going to create add a logo here. So we can just check for a logo. Okay. App logo. We can just type app logo. Oh yes. Or I have already one logo is downloaded in my section. If you go here, yes, let us check this one. Yes, I can see my one logo is there. I am going to paste the logo in my project. So just copy. Splash up assets here. I'm going to paste that logo, right? So this logo should be 1024 into 1024. So I adjust sizes. If you look into the adjust sizes, it is around 1037. Your image should be 1024 into 1024 clear so I'm going to place this images here so I'm going to change this into icon.png or we can just put this name or whatever they are mentioning the documentation you can just copy this one where is my finder yes I just pasted that name itself yes now what we need to do, we need to run this command. I am not going to run this command as it is. I am just pasting this command into my VS code. Yes. So we are corrected. Now we can just remove the backsplashes. So we can just add background color, whatever we need. We have added this background color and logo width. And then we need add to add asset path. We can just add this asset path and then flavor. So we can just add the flavor also and copy this as a single command and paste this command in your package.json. Here you can add one more script 
add splash then paste this command here okay now what we need to do we can just run the command in our project let's see what happened npm run add splash so as you can see it will automatically generate a splash screens and icons whatever we need and it will automatically insert into our project you can see different sizes of uh, logos are creating automatically then it is adding this value in the ios and android manually automatically so if you look into your android project here you can see in the src folder resource see logo is added here you can see the logo is added whatever we have given it automatically resized and it is added into our project clear now what we can do we can go for the complete integration of library so we have successfully added app icons and uh, splash screens into our project now we need to do some more changes in our native file we have successfully added splash screens and app icon in our project so they are mentioning some more changes in uh, android so we can skip for ios later we can do it later now for the first step android in the build script we should upgrade our project to 31 so we can just go here close this all things remove package.json and just resize it and in the android build.gradle there is this is compiled sdk is now 30 route we have to change into 31 31 so minimum sdk should be 23 so as i mentioned so we can just change into 23 now the next thing what they have asked to add this line into our android app build.gradle so we can just add this one so go android app build.gradle so we can just add this one also inside dependency after react native we can just add this one fine we have added now the next thing is we need to add these things in its uh, xml file so we can just copy this one android app src main resource values style.xml uh, so it will already created style.xml we can just go android resource values style.xml now if you just paste it here you can see fine now we can just check out this thing dot xml splash app is there color dot xml they have already added that color whatever we are mentioning here see Lo app logo is already added so we have successfully created our own style sheet for splash screen now what we need to do we need to split our activity so for that one what i have to do just add this one into our projects you can just go here android mainfest.xml here is the adjust rates rise see after adjust resize we need to add export to true so we can just paste it here and paste it here fine now what they are mentioning replace style app theme with boot theme so we can just android theme we can just change into app uh, boot theme so we can just change it into boot theme now the next thing what we have to do in main activity dot java so we can just copy these two line here we need to go java main activity dot java here we can just paste that two line now what they are mentioning we need to add this override method so we can just check out what is our existing in main activity extend react activity so we have only this override method we need to add this old method so we can just copy all this method just we can just add this old method fine
so we have completed all the setup for react native android react native so now we can gen the, uh, run the application once more so go to the terminal npm run android so we can wait for a few minutes uh, minutes uh, our application is building Yes, app is successfully created. Now we can just launch our device. Yes, here you can see splash screen is added successfully. So we have added the icon, right? This icon is replaced with the existing app icon. You can see the splash screen is added successfully. Now if you look into our project, you can see the uh, splash app icon, which is not uh, changed, right? Only splash screen is changed. So for that one, what you have to do, go here, check out our resource value. Here you can see boot splash logo PNG, right? So what you have to do, copy this name from here and inside the main first value, you can see icon and round icon, right? So just change this with the, our new name. Okay. Now install the application once more. So it will install the application once more because we have changed in native code. We have changed our icon and round icon. So it should install the application with the new icons. We can just check out what will it will come. Yes, the application is installed. Now we can just check out our device. Yes, the application is installed. See, you can see splash screen. Uh, in the device, you can see our app icon and splash screen is configured successfully. Now, what is the benefit of what is the benefit of React Native Boot Splash? With a single image, with a single image, we can create splash icon and app icon we need to we don't want to wait the designer to give all the aspects of images now there is one more issue this splash screen is not closing right so we have to fix that as issue also so go to the documentation here you can see import react native boot splash so just go here and whenever the application is ready whenever your old store and uh, navigation is ready you can just close the app so for now what i'm going to do in the app.js file i'm going to add that one here here on i'm going to create a, a use effect so you just create a use effect method here pass an empty array so that it will uh, trigger as component did mount now i need to call this method so we can just call this method here fine now we need to import the use effect so we can just import the use effect from react right now if i just refresh the screen once more and open the application once more just close the whole the application from background and open the application once more see after a moment it closed the splash screen is hiding right so what we have done here we have just added r dot uh, in the use effect method we have just added r dot 
hide splash screen dot hide so it will hide the splash screen so we can just demonstrate it once more open the application see splash screen is showing after a moment it get hide now we can add one more configuration fade true so let's add this one also we can just check out what will happen now clear the application from stack cleared now open the application once more see it is fading right rather than just moving from the background it is just fading so we have one more option to add fade equal to true so you have to remember the library react native board splash with single image you can create app icon and splash screen now we can jump into the next lecture